How do I stop frequent urination at night? You are comfortably in bed and then you feel that pressure sensation in your bladder. You get up and use the bathroom. Before you know it, you've woken up three more times just to urinate. Sound familiar? You are not alone. According to a National Sleep Foundation survey, about 65% of adults, age of 55 and older, reported getting up several times at night to use the bathroom. How many times is normal to urinate at night? A 2010 study in the Journal of Urology examined the prevalence and incidence of nocturia. It found that up to one-third of men between the age of 20 to 40 had at least one instance of urination nightly. For women, the number was slightly higher up to 43%. Fewer than one in five men and women in that age group reported two or more instances of nighttime urination. However, it's a different story for people over the age of 70. Over two-thirds of men and women over 70 urinate at least once per night, and up to 60% go twice or more each night. In other words, the study shows that it is very common for most people to wake up once a night, and it becomes more common as you get older. What causes us to urinate at night? Although nighttime urination does not adversely affect most people, but if this disturbs our sleep patterns and productivity the next day, you should seek medical attention. Some medical conditions could cause this habit, and you should see a doctor to determine if there is another underlying reason for your nocturia. Such as, one enlarged prostate. Men with an enlarged prostate may have difficulty completely emptying their bladder, which leads to urinary retention. At night, any small increase in urine in the bladder may lead to a heightened sensation to use the bathroom. Your primary care physician or urologist can assess you for these prostate conditions. Too overactive bladder. This may be secondary to nerve problems, medications, or lifestyle behaviors that make the muscles of your bladder work in overdrive. Your primary care physician or urologist can help assess for these symptoms. 3. Excess fluid intake. If you drink fluids right before bed, especially caffeinated or alcoholic beverages, you may wake up to urinate because your kidneys will filter this fluid out while you sleep. Limit your intake during the three hours before bedtime and your symptoms may decrease. 4. Uncontrolled diabetes. Increased sugar levels in the blood can cause an increase in urine production. Many new diagnoses of diabetes are actually found when patients come in with excess daytime or nighttime urinary frequency. Better sugar control should help this situation. 5. Medications some diuretics, or blood pressure medications, decrease your blood pressure by removing excess fluid from your body. When taking these medications at night, they may cause increased urine output and nocturia. Ask your doctor to review your medications to see whether you can take these medications during the day to avoid nighttime nocturia. 6. Neurologic Problems Damage to nerves that supply the bladder can lead to problems with bladder function including frequent and sudden urges to urinate. 7. Stress Stress has been linked to many medical problems including heart disease, obesity, depression, and gastrointestinal problems. Stress may keep you awake and increase your levels of nocturia. Many people wake up at night to urinate, but you can adjust your behaviors, medications, or overall health to improve your nightly symptoms. However, Nighttime urination could be your body's way of signaling another underlying issue. So don't hesitate to talk to your doctor if you have concerns. As for during the day urinary frequency, how often should you pee through the entire day? As with many things in life, everyone is different. This also applies to normal urinary frequency. For most people, the normal number of times to urinate per day is between 6, 7 and a 24 hour period. Between 4 and 10 times a day can also be normal if that person is healthy and happy with the number of times they visit the toilet. Normal urinary frequency also depends on how much fluid you drink in a day and the types of fluid that you drink. If you are taking medication for high blood pressure for instance, it may increase because of the way some medication works. For example, medicines called diuretics. How healthy and active you are can have an influence and to some extent your age. For example, 
The normal frequency of urination in children can be different to that of an adult. Elderly's urination frequency is usually higher than young adults' frequency. Health is very important to everyone. Don't let other activities consume all of your time and energy. Proper awareness and attention to early signs of abnormal symptoms are keys to keep us healthy. Early treatment is always more effective than late emergency actions. May you stay healthy and have abundant of happy life. Please like and subscribe this channel for more health related videos. Thank you.